Hey folks, today I want to go over some uh, sublime text settings you can use to manage your white space. And I find them extremely helpful for making sure that your Python code uh, remains clean, that you don't have a mixture of tap and spaces and extra spaces in places where there should be none. Um, and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over these uh, white space specific settings that I have or that I use most of the time and just kind of show you what they do so you can uh, pick and mix and match for uh, for your own sublime text configuration. All right, so the first thing I want to show you is the draw white space setting that I have set to all. And what that does is um, it gives me these little dots uh, in places where there is a space character. And in places where there is a tap character, it's going to give me this little horizontal line. And I find that I find that extremely helpful for being able to pick out places where there's a mixture of uh, taps and spaces, which is not really allowed in Python 3 and it's not really recommended in Python 2. So it's something you, you want to avoid. Usually I go with uh, spaces for everything. And what it also does, it shows you extra white space uh, at the end of a line, which is also something that, you know, you don't really want you want that. For example, if you have an empty line here that is just a line feed, you you kind of want to look, you, you want it to look like this and you don't want it to have um, extra space characters in here. So uh, luckily there's a setting to fix that. And um, well, number one would be to actually make it visible by setting the draw white space setting. And then what you want to do is to use these two settings uh, in conjunction, which is uh, the tab size setting and the translate tabs to spaces setting. Uh, I recommend setting the tab size to four, but you know you could choose other values, kind of depends on the code style that you use or that you have decided on in your team, in your company. Um, and the other one is translate tabs to spaces, which means we want to use four spaces in place of uh, what would otherwise be a single tab character. And that's the setting I would recommend for writing Python. To, just to show you what that looks like, I'm actually going to restore these settings here in the file that I have open and I'm going to convert my tabs to spaces. All right, so what you can see here is that now we have um, a nice and clean file. All the tab characters are gone and we have uh, uniform spaces in place of these these tab where, where previously we had like a mixture of spaces and tabs. Um, what's still there are these extra spaces that are kind of ugly and they can lead to merge conflicts uh, if you use source control. So um, we also want to get rid of those. Luckily, there is a setting for us to do that. And that is the trim trailing white space on safe setting. It kind of does what it says actually if you set it to true and then save the file watch the, the extra white space it's uh, it just removes the extra white space so it's going to remove extra white space at the end of lines it's going to trim it down and um, that's kind of useful because it's going to keep your files nice and clean and you don't have to struggle with these stray lines that have extra spaces because someone edited a file and didn't have that setting enabled. So it makes it really easy just to clean that up and kind of normalize all of your blank lines, for example. The final setting that I have enabled is the ensure new line at EOF on safe uh, setting. And you also want to set that to true. So now what this does is whenever you save a file, it is going to add an extra line feed at the end of the file, which is kind of the recommendation for uh, many programming languages, some parsers. Uh, I, I'm actually not too sure where it comes from. I, I think it comes from some C compiler that you know wanted to have, that would ignore the last line if you didn't have an extra line feed there, but I'm actually not too sure. Um, so maybe I just made that up on the spot. However, it's it's a general recommendation to have that in there just for, for cleanliness and um, it helps to just turn on that setting and then you never have to worry about it, right? Because if everyone on your team has that enabled, then uh, you don't have to struggle with adding or removing that extra extra line. So I find that really helpful, um, especially being able to see the white space when I write code. And um, these are the settings that I would recommend for writing Python with Sublime Text.